Running IT Edge on Windows is great, so they can leverage all the Windows capabilities, security, management, and so on, but it presents some challenges. Lots of the modules out there are for Linux. Terry Warwick from the Windows IoT team is telling us everything on the IT Show today about how we are addressing these particular problems. Hi everyone, you're watching the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and today with Terry Warwick from the Windows IoT team, we'll talk about running Linux modules for IoT Edge on Windows 10 IoT Enterprise. Hey Terry, welcome to the show. Hey Olivier, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. So for our audience, how about you introduce yourself real quick and, and what are you doing at Microsoft? Yeah, I'm a senior program manager in the Windows IoT team. Uh, and I'm currently working on a project to uh, enable Azure IoT Edge uh, Linux modules on Windows IoT Enterprise. Interesting. So yes, that's something that we've heard from our customers. There is uh, a flu of these uh, IoT Edge modules out there that have been developed targeting Linux, and that's lots of our customers want to use on Windows. But tell us a bit more about you know why. Customers want to do that, and, and you know there's an interest in running Windows on, on machines. Uh, so tell us a bit more about you know, why customers are doing that, and, and maybe give an example of a scenario. Right. Uh, yeah, many of our customers uh, have a lot invested in Windows platform uh, that not only includes applications, uh, but also management, security, deployment infrastructure that all must be taken in consideration during their uh, transformation to an intelligent edge and centralized monitoring in the cloud. As you said, many of those customers have expressed interest in uh, leveraging Linux modules as they modernize their workloads while interacting with their existing Windows investments. Let's say, for example, you've got a, a manufacturing facility and you've got product coming through the production lines and you want to modernize and add additional capabilities to devices that you have in that environment that monitor uh, product as it's coming down the uh, manufacturing uh, line, the production line, to de de identify defects or packaging issues or you know various things that you can implement through machine learning and take advantage of some of the new capabilities that are available through Linux modules in the Azure marketplace. And as you were saying, like um, in manufacturing in particular, uh, Windows is, is heavily used. I mean, it's, it's used for all the goodness that you mentioned. Uh, and these enterprises don't want to change everything in their infrastructure. They, they want to leverage the existing infrastructure and their skill sets to run these ITH modules. Let's talk a bit about you know what the team has been doing. So you heard about the customers. They want to have these Linux containers. So what's going on and what's new on Windows 10 IoT support for ITH modules? Yeah, so we're currently working on a project to uh, enable those Linux modules on Windows and ensure that the uh, the investments that they have in Windows already can interact with these uh, Linux modules on a Windows box. So it's best of both worlds where we're bringing the Linux uh, strengths to the platform, but, but also allowing those customers to take advantage of their existing investments in Windows. Awesome. awesome. So we'll... Uh... We'll talk a bit more about, you know, now you got them super excited, all these customers. We'll talk after a short demo of what it's going to look like, what you should expect in, in the first, like, first, like, tomorrow, right, after watching that video, uh, and, and then, you know, when these features will be available. So how about we jump into a demo and you tell us a bit more, you know, about uh, how it looks like, that will look like uh, for uh, IoT Edge developers. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so in this demo, you'll see the uh, Windows uh, UWP application there on the left-hand side, a command shell on the upper right, and then also the device explorer in the lower right. And what you're seeing here is the we're taking a video feed. You see an Apple. It's sending frames across to Azure IoT Edge Linux module that is doing the detection and then returning the identification back to the application, saying what it just saw. So here you see it's uh, a pair, and in the device explorer, you're seeing the messaging happen, and that's coming back to the application saying that it is a pair. Now what we're doing is we're looking at the 
uh, log for the message processor and uh, you're identifying that we did see the pair. So this is actually the Linux module that's running here on the Windows device. Cool, Terry. So just running the exact same uh, module uh, that's been designed for a Linux box, but this time running on Windows IoT uh, in real life. So that that's pretty awesome. So, so Terry, our customers will be super excited by that. So um, they will need to know when they can expect to have these new features available. Yeah. So we are uh, in the process of working on this this solution today. We expect to have a private preview followed by a public preview later in the year. Awesome. And so you, um, we were seeing actually the demo running a UWP app on a what AMD 64, right, on a PC great right. type of device. What kind of uh, hardware architecture are we expecting that support to, to work on? Initially, it'll be uh, AMD 64, but we will be adding uh, ARM 64 uh, to that in the future. Awesome. Well, cool, Terry. I think our customers will be super excited that uh, you know they will be able to run these Linux modules on Windows IoT, uh, and that will help them certainly use all the myriad uh, of modules that are available on the Azure Marketplace, and unfortunately uh, only target Linux today. Um, so there's a call to action. So basically, if you want to learn more about this topic uh, that Terry just demonstrated, you can go to the short link, aka.ms slash IoT show slash Linux modules on Windows IoT, everything in one word. Terry, thanks a lot for joining the show today. I'm, I'm fairly sure our customers will be super excited to see that. Yeah, and we'll also have a blog uh, to accompany this show that'll talk a little bit more about the uh, the sample code and the offering and watch that blog for future information about the uh, the public preview. Awesome, Terry. Thanks a lot for joining the show again today and thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope to see you soon. Do not forget to subscribe as well. Bye.